what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today we are um back with our road to champions league or our chasing champ series guys and as y'all can see we are back in masters we just hit it um mainly off of defense honestly uh, but as you can see i'm using balloon in right now um just because I'm switching it up from using Bart so much. We've got a full army camp to use, so I'm going to show you guys some defense replays. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some attack replays, and then we're going to get a live attack in as well. But guys, also make sure that y'all comment down below because for the entire month of January, I am going to be giving away a $10 iTunes or Google Play card in the comments uh, to random people. I'll comment on who wins uh, so that you guys can see who wins. And uh, yeah, so definitely make sure that y'all do that. Leave a like for the iTunes cards as well, guys. I'd appreciate that. I love seeing a lot of likes. It just lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing. But we'll go ahead and jump into this thing. Um, so we've got our... Uh, oh. I always do that. So we've got our uh, our 40 minions and our 32 balloons. Uh, we've got both of our heroes up. Everything is boosted and rolling, guys. Definitely make sure that y'all take advantage of the one gym boost as it's going on uh, for New Year's because it's ridiculous. <laughs> you get so much extra loot from it. Uh, boosting your barracks is so good. It doesn't take that long at all for anything to train up. Uh, especially if you do use Barch, it flies by. Um, we'll go ahead and train all of these up. I'm not boosting my uh, Dark Barracks because the minions train up pretty quickly as it is. Uh, let's see how long. What is it, like 15, 15 minutes maybe? Yeah, so 15 minutes. Um, and then the balloons are about the same with the little boost going on. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let me show you guys. I guess we'll attack while... I oh know that might take a little bit. Um, so the top two defenses you can see were both Balloonian uh, attacks. One person... They use the exact same amount of balloons, a little less of uh, minions, and both of them had max balloons. Uh, one of them with the heroes actually was the thing that made the difference. So let's go ahead and watch that one and see how uh, this guy does. So I've tweaked a couple things on the base as well. After I got attacked by this guy, um, I moved my Inferno Towers and I also moved my... Um, some of my air mines up to the top because a lot of my air mines were down in here by those air defenses when I really needed them up here. So you'll see he just throws in his wave, uh, drops off his rage spells right there to get in there, uh, and then just takes out all of the defenses at the top of the base. And then the minions actually take out the town hall. Uh, now the Inferno Towers do a great job of just crushing his balloons, but he is at 40% right now, and he's already got that one star. And then he's just going to pick off these other buildings down towards the bottom. Uh, so I actually might consider moving those in a little bit so that they can be within range of of that archer tower. Um, but you can see his, his king and his queen come in and then they finish it up with that 51% right there. So um, I lost... 17 trophies from that, but I got 21 from this guy who attacked. So this guy changed it up, and he actually attacked from the bottom. I'm not too sure why he did that, um, but he attacks with the old school way where you take out just the, you go after the archer towers, and then you try and pick everything off, and this was one of the things that really messed him up right here, is if he had dropped one more balloon, he would have taken that out. And now, uh, since it takes so long for the balloons to get in, he's going to have to deploy the rest of his balloons up there on that archer tower when if he had just dropped one more earlier, he would have taken it out. Uh, so the thing with ballooning is you have to be very, very careful with, uh, with attacking like that and making sure that you deploy exactly the right number of balloons. So as you can see, he has to drop off all of these balloons up here just to get in here and take this out, uh, which which ended up being the thing that uh, caused him to lose. So he's going to uh, now just drop off the rest of those balloons heading in towards the Teslas um, and then dropping off his minions. And he's just not going to have enough time to get everything. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through that. And oh, you'll see he also didn't have his heroes. So obviously that was not a good thing. You guys definitely want to have your heroes with you if you are going to be trophy pushing um, at all times because they make a huge, huge difference. Uh, so he wasn't able to get it. He ends right there at that 45, oh, 47%. Um, runs out, and that's going to be it <laughs> for that defense replay. So as you can see, I've switched up a couple things. I moved the Inferno Towers right here, so they still protect the Town Hall. Um, but if anybody attacks with Balloonian from the top, then the Inferno Towers are going to absolutely melt them before they get in. I've also closed this area up and moved the Archer Tower inside the walls. Uh, and I guess after seeing that last... Uh, attack I might go here and here 
and then um, where do we want to put this? And then we're going to bring this up in here uh, as well. And let's go ahead and just take our builder's hut right here and just throw that right here. So this way, oh, they actually aren't in range of that archer tower uh, at all, but that's okay because some buildings aren't going to be able to be in range uh, of the archer towers and whatnot. So let's go ahead and attack, guys, and then I'll be back with you all in just a couple of seconds. All right, so hold on tight. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, I didn't even need to search for that long. We are going after this, and I honestly don't care if we get... <laughs> I don't care if we get the trophies or not on this one because this is going to be uh, ridiculous. We're going to take out this air defense right here really quick um, as well. <clears throat> oh, come on. All right, well, we're just going to spam from down here anyways. Let's go ahead and just spam all of our balloons down. We're going to drop off two of our rage spells. Get our minions up behind as well and get up in there. We're going to drop off our king and our queen. Everything's going in towards the center of the base right now. We'll go ahead and rage up right here as well so that they, the balloons can just continue raging. Hopefully they will go over there, take out that inferno tower. We are getting so much freaking loot from this base right now. It is absolutely absurd. Uh, those balloons up towards the top are still getting raged. I'm going to use this other rage spell right here for when they come back in. Uh, and heading towards that cannon after that archer tower and they are actually getting the edge of it right there uh, yes our king is out of range of the inferno tower and we are definitely going to get the town hall as well with this guys the balloons are still working their way around look at all the loot that we've gotten this is an absolutely ridiculous uh, raid so so epic with all of that loot um, we're going to take out the town hall as well and get more than 60% let's see what else happens we're just going to let them keep on working their way around the queen's getting the rest of this loot for us we really need to take out that inferno tower we're going to go ahead and use her ability right there, take out the Inferno Tower, and then take out the Expo one-shot, and then go ahead and finish up this Elixir uh, storage. And once this is down, we will go ahead and end the battle right there. And look at that, guys. 800,000 resources and 2,700 Dark Elixir and 20 trophies. <sighs> Moment of silence for that guy for losing that much loot, am I right? <laughs> But um, gosh, that was ridiculous. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know what to do now. Which I'm, I need to go upgrade some stuff so I don't lose um, that gold. So I'm just gonna go upgrade a wall. Um, but I cannot believe all that loot we just got. That was absolutely ridiculous. We needed that Dark Elixir too to pay for all the minions that we've been using. Um, but that was an epic raid. I'm actually gonna go ahead and share that. Let's share this uh, replay because that was ridiculous. Sick loot. Oh, <laughs> put a B in it. Nice. Nice, Molt. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and watch this uh, attack as well. We got 33 trophies from this one earlier. Um, and uh, let's fast forward, get it started. There we go. So I drop off from the top all the balloons right there. I held down uh, two fingers and just did like this so it uh, deployed them uh, double. And all of the balloons are just going to work their way into the base. As you can see now the Inferno Towers I was a little bit worried about. Uh, but it ended up not being too big of a deal, uh, obviously because they are single target Inferno Towers. As you can see, single target Inferno Towers, mm -mm. if you see those, attack with balloons because it's going to take forever for them to focus and charge up and whatnot. Uh, Multi-targets is where you run into uh, <laughs> into your problems. But we'll go ahead and fast forward right here. Um, you can see I waited on those minions to drop off to take out the town hall for me. And then we are going to drop in our heroes as well down here towards the bottom. They're just going to continue working their way around. And you can see that all of our troops now are gone except for our heroes. So our heroes take out the rest of this base, uh, which is awesome because we definitely needed that. The queen is so good at what she does. <laughs> uh, shooting over the walls makes it so much better than having the king have to walk through everything. But we'll go ahead and just fast forward through right here, guys. And this guy was in Crystal 1. Uh, this was when I was in Crystal 1 earlier, but we were able to take it out uh, fairly easily and get that 3-star with those 33 trophies. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. We are in Masters League again, loving that loot bonus. Wow, so I actually got a million, uh, I actually got a million total from that last raid. <gasps> wow. Because of the 100,000 loot bonus. That's awesome. But anyways, guys, leave a like down below for that raid. That was ridiculous. Also, um, remember to check the comments. Come back and check your comment and see if I've commented on it to see who wins. I'm going to choose one video a day to do it on uh, to give away the $10 iTunes or Google Play card. 
Uh, today's going to be an iTunes card. So definitely check the comments. Make sure you all look for that, and I will be giving that away. But thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, I really, really appreciate it. Make sure that you keep calm and clash on with me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.